Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Mobile Ads Garage. Today, with the help of my partner, Gary the Graphics Guy, I get to announce something really cool, a new test suite library from AdMob that can help you get up and running with mediation quicker and easier. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the term mediation, it's a way for app publishers to load and show ads from multiple networks in a single app. We've done a bunch of other episodes on it. There's one covering just the basics, plus a couple about our open source mediation adapters for Android, iOS, and Unity. There are links to those videos in the description below, so make sure you check them out. For those of you who are familiar with mediation, you know that to use it, you need to build a few things into your app. In addition to the Google Mobile Ads SDK, you also need the SDK for the network you want to mediate, plus an adapter and the app settings required by that network. Verifying that you have all the right stuff imported into your app can be tricky. Isn't that right, Sam? Where am I? Fortunately, the new AdMob Mediation Test Suite can help you do it. You said we were going for coffee. How did I even get in this room? Now I'm going to take off, but I'd like to introduce Sam, who's here to tell you all about this new tool. What? Where are you going? Oh, well, you've heard of Flutter, Google's new mobile UI framework, where you build native apps on iOS and Android from a single code base in record time? Yeah. Oh, well, I've been helping out with the AdMob plugin. They got banners, interstitials, rewarded ads. It's pretty cool. So you're leaving? Ah, don't worry. You'll be fine. Oh, you're coming too, Gary. You can help with the widgets. Who is he just talking to? Well, I guess we should talk about the test suite. Or suites, really, since there's one for iOS and one for Android, plus a Unity package. Regardless of platform though, everything works the same way. The test suite is a library that you can build into your app and you trigger with a call like this. In response, a new activity or view controller appears and automatically fetches your mediation configurations from the server. Then you can look through your AdMob ad units and mediation networks, pick one and see whether you have the right SDKs, adapters and settings in place. You can even make test ad requests all from right there in your app. This way, there's no more guesswork. You can see for yourself whether or not everything's set up. Plus, every format is covered. You've got banners, interstitials, rewarded video, and native. So that's the broad strokes. Now let's head into Xcode and get the test suite into one of our example apps for iOS. Okay, here we are in our sample app in Xcode, and I have the Google Mobile Ads framework already included using CocoaPods. So the first thing we are going to do is look at the developer documentation for the mediation test suite in iOS, and the link is in the video description. So let's hop across now. Now, the first thing to note here is the prerequisites. So please ensure that you're using at least the minimum supported version of Xcode, which is currently Xcode 8.0. And when using the test suite, targeting at least the minimum iOS version, which is currently 8.0. Uh, you also need to uh, have an AdMob account and have at least one app registered. And this is where we test suite will pull your ad units and mediation configurations from. So next up, we will integrate the test suite. So under installation, you can find the line to copy across into your pod file. So let's copy that line now and go back to Xcode. Now we can copy this into our pod file. So make sure in your pod file that you're targeting at least version 8.0 of iOS and then we can do a pod install and you may need to do a repo update or a pod update depending on when we last updated your repo. Now you can see because I'm using mediation, I've got a range of mediation ad sources in my pod file too. Now back to the code, now I'll point out in our app delegate, we have the AdMob app ID defined here, which we are using to configure Google Mobile Ads and we'll be using this to launch the test suite. So now we can integrate the test suite. So firstly, we need to import the test suite module, like so. And next, we are going to write a new method, uh, present mediation test suite, which we'll use to present the test suite. Now in the body of this method, we'll add our call to present, like so. And this takes three parameters. So the first is the app ID, which is the AdMob app ID, which we use for the ad units and mediation configuration information, uh, which we defined previously. So I'm going to insert that here. Then we have a view controller to present on. Um, and in this case, it will be our base view controller, which is ourself. And optionally, we can also pass a delegate. 
which is the Google Mobile Ads Mediation Test Suite delegate, um, which you can provide if you want to be notified when the test suite is dismissed. So once this method's written, we need to call it. Because the call presents um, the test suite modally with animation, this call can't be made in view did load or view will appear. So you can call it from view did appear, or you can also invoke it using a button or a gesture. Uh, for experience, I'll just simply call it from view did appear. So let's just add that in now. Okay, so now the integration is done. Uh, we can check out the test suite in action. Okay, first up here we see the disclaimer. So please be sure to read through the text here and click through and link, read the link disclaimer article. Basically, we want to ensure that you correctly configure any third-party ad sources to show test ads for the app you're testing. If you request live ads from any given ad source while testing, you're likely to be violating policy and your account may be suspended. And the test suite can't configure test ads for third-party ad sources, for it. so it's up to you to make sure this is done correctly before loading any third-party ads. So once you're happy, click the checkbox and press Agree. Now we can see the home page for the test suite. This is broken up into multiple pages and sections. So at the top, you can see two tabs, failing ad units and working ad units. Um, the failing ad units page shown here shows a list of ad units that have ad sources that are either missing components or not fully configured and tested. The working ad units page, which is initially empty, will be populated with ad units that have ad all ad sources tested successfully. Now, one thing you'll notice is uh, the icons under each ad unit. These icons represent a summary status of all the ad sources that apply to that ad unit. So SDK is the status of the SDKs required for all the ad sources, and adapter is the status of the adapters required for the ad sources. If there's at least one adapter missing, this will be red, and if all the adapters are found, it will be green. Under the configuration errors section, there's also an ad load icon. This is initially yellow, meaning it's not tested. If at least one ad source has failed a test, and then this will be red. And if all ad sources have passed the tests, it will be green. Note also that if we have a large number of ad units, then we can use the search button to search the ads by ad unit ID, uh, also by ad source name or format. So I'll just demonstrate that now. So you can see it says rewarded ads, or if I search for a ad source name that will come up and also an ad unit number. So now let's have a look at the interstitial ad unit we have configured for this app. Here we have a list of all the ad sources configured for this ad unit. So this applies across all geographic regions. Uh, we don't separate by region. And you can see we have quite a few ad sources configured for this ad, ad unit. Um, the ad sources will be arranged from the most issues at the top to the least issues at the bottom. So we suggest starting from the top and working your way down to fix issues. You'll note for each ad source that we have the same SDK, adapter and ad load icons uh, when SDK and adapter are found. And at this level, these indicators apply just to each individual ad source. So we can see all the ad sources at the top are missing SDK and adapters. And further down, we see the SDK and adapters are found, but the ad source has not been tested and the ad load icon is yellow. Also on this page, there is the ability to search ad sources by name using the search icon at the top here. Um, another convenient feature is we can check multiple ad sources here and test loading of all checked ad sources from this screen. Uh, we can only check ad sources where the SDK and adapter are found. So I'll load a couple of test ads, uh, load a couple of ads for a couple of the ad sources here. And you can see that those worked and they got moved to the bottom of the screen. Let's take a look at the detail screen for a given ad source. Now on the detail screen, we can see more information about this ad source. We see checks for the SDK and adapter, and we also see the parameters that have or have not been configured. So the test suite knows about the parameters required for all open source ad source adapters, and we will show whether or not these parameters have been supplied in the AdMob console for the configuration in question. If the SDK and adapter are found, you will be able to load an ad. However, if the parameters are not correctly configured, it's unlikely the ad load will work. So check this first. So let's try loading an ad. I hit the ad load. You can see ad loading in progress, and we can see it succeeded. 
So for interstitials as well as rewarded ads, from this detail screen we can also display the ad received. Uh, banner ads will be displayed in line, and native ads by their custom nature will not be shown. Again, we emphasize that you must have test ads configured for the given ad source before loading and displaying ads. So let's show the ad. Okay, we can see we successfully loaded and displayed a test ad. Back on the list of ad sources, we can also see that we have loaded successfully a number of ad sources. Let's try an ad source that's not configured correctly. So I'm going to hit load ad here. And notice when it fails, we don't get a lot of information on this screen. Typically, it will say no fill uh, and just tell us to check the configuration. So to debug further, you'll need to check your system logs. So for a failing ad load, you should get some logs from either the adapter or the SDK for the ad source that explains the reason for the failure in more detail. So you can see we've got some information from my target adapter here saying that it didn't recognize the slot ID. Um, for some ad source SDKs, you may need to enable debug logging to see debug log information. So this is typically done as a call to the top level SDK class, such as SDK class logging enabled equals true. So make sure to check that for your ad source as you're debugging. Okay, so that's basically a wrap of the uh, basics of the test suite. Note that there are some additional APIs available on the test suite, such as the ability to configure an ad request for the test suite to use, for example, when an ad source requires that you provide extras in order to load an ad. And these extra APIs are covered in the developer docs. Again, the link for that is in the video description. Finally, to close the test suite, we can just hit the cross in the top left. And uh, note also that the ads, uh, the test results for the ad sources are not persisted across sessions. So any working ad units will be reset when you present the test suite the next time. All right, so that's the basics of using the test suite in iOS. You might have noticed that not every mediation network supported by AdMob was listed in the test suite. Right now, the suite works with the dozen or so networks who've joined our open source initiative. It's possible that the team might expand on that later, but for the initial release, that's the list. All right, time for Android. Since the test suite works the same on both iOS and Android, I'm going to save some time here and just focus on importing and launching the test suite activity. Let's get into Android Studio. Here we are in our sample app in Android Studio, and I have the Google Mobile Ads dependency already included using Gradle. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the developer documentation for the mediation test suite in Android. Uh, the link is in the video description. So the first thing to note here is the prerequisites. So please ensure you're using the minimum supported version of Android, at least, uh, which is currently API level 14, and also including at least the minimum version of Google Play services, which is currently version 9.8.0. Uh, you'll also need an AdMob account and with at least one app registered is where the test suite will pull your ad units and mediation configurations from. So next up, we'll integrate the test suite. So under, under installation here, you can find the line to copy across into your build.gradle file. So let's copy that and go back to Android Studio. Now in our build.gradle, we'll pop that line in under the ads dependency. Uh, make sure in here as well that you have the minimum SDK version I'm on 16 here. And you can also see, because I'm using mediation, I've got a range of mediation ad sources in here as well. So now we can integrate the test suite. In Android, we can launch the test suite from OnCreate. So I'll just add the call here. So it's just mediation test suite uh, dot launch. Now this takes two parameters. One is a context, uh, which is the activity context used to launch the test suite. So I'll just use my current context. And the other one is the AdMob app ID uh, to use for the ad units and mediation configuration information. I'm already uh, supplied that here um, when I call uh, mobile ads .initialize, So I'll just reuse that. Note that there are other APIs that enable us to set a listener for when the test suite is dismissed, and also for us to set an ad request to use to supply extras bundles for ad sources that need extra configuration information. And these APIs are documented in the developer documentation linked in the video description. So now the integration is done. Let's check out the test suite in action. As you can see, uh, we've got the disclaimer here. And if I agree to that, everything looks very similar to iOS, um, very much the same. So I won't go over the usage. Uh, 
One thing that does differ in Android is you will note we have an icon for manifest. This represents a check of whether you have correctly added all required manifest entries where applicable for the given ad source. So this includes permissions and activities. Apart from that, everything is the same. All right, that's Android. There's one last thing to show you, which is how people building apps with Unity can take advantage of the test suite too. To help simplify things, the team put together a Unity package that imports the native test suite libraries for you. It also provides a C-sharp interface, so you can make the call to launch the test suite right from your Unity code. Let's hop into the Unity IDE and see how it works. OK, here we are in the Unity IDE, and I have a small sample project with the Google Mobile Ads Unity package already installed. So the first thing we'll do is look at the developer documentation for the mediation test suite for Unity. So let's head over to that. And note again, we have some prerequisites. So we need to have the Google Mobile Ads Unity package uh, in our Unity project, and we need to have our player settings targeting the minimum iOS and Android versions. And we also need to have an AdMob account with an app registered for each platform, which is what we'll be using to pull down the ad units and our mediation configurations. So next, we'll download the mediation test suite package here. So let's just click and download that. And with our uh, project open, we can just click on that and in Unity we will see uh, the import window pop up. So we want to import all of the uh, package and this will then uh, import all the assets and also run the jar resolver to get all the dependencies. So let's just let that run for a second and the next thing we can do is head over to our script in Visual Studio so to save time, I've pre-filled a couple of things in here. So you can see I've written a method to show the mediation test suite, but it's not completed. I've also got a handle test suite dismissed event handler, and I've also configured a button in my uh, GUI to show the mediation test suite. However you choose to do this is up to you. Um, to actually interact with the test suite, we'll need to use the Google Mobile Ads Mediation Test Suite API. And two things we'll do. So firstly, you can see we have our app IDs, uh, which are the AdMob app IDs that we're going to use to show the test suite. So the API that we're going to call to show the test suite is just mediation test suite dot show. And we'll pass in the app ID that we've already configured. So there needs to be a different app ID for Android and for iPhone. Now this event handler here, we can call using mediation test suite dot on mediation test suite dismissed, and we'll add our event handler to that property. Like so. And that will notify us when the mediation test suite is dismissed in case we want to pause or resume our game. And that's all we actually need to do to configure the basics of the test suite. There is an additional API for us to configure a ad request if we need to pass in some extras for one of the ad sources. And the details for that are in the developer documentation. Uh, for actually using the test suite, refer to the iOS and Android portions of this video with the details of how to, how to use the test suite on those platforms. All right. So that's the test suite in iOS, Android, and Unity. If you're a publisher using mediation, download it and give it a try. In the meantime, I've got some resources for you in the description below. There are links to the Android, iOS, and Unity guides for the test suite, plus links to our mediation guides for those platforms. And if you have questions or run into a problem while using the test suite, you're welcome to stop by our support forum. And as always, if you have a question about this video or a suggestion for a topic to cover, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.